Once you pop, the fun don't stop. Seriously, we can't stop. Please send help. Hello, and welcome to The Kitchen Chemist. I'm Nathaniel Evanson. And I'm Greg Prince. We're eating Pringles today. Uh, fun fact about Pringles, they are not actually a potato chip. What are they? So, no, the, so, okay, so they take basically dried potato flakes and kind of mash them into a chip mold, but legally they are not allowed to call them potato chips. Is that why they call them Pringles? That's, well, if you, if, it's called a potato snack. Pringles. Pringles. Original Pringles. The original Pringles. The original. Does that mean when Pringles started, they had only one flavor, and it was like, hey, it's yes, I believe Pringles struggled for a while with uh, with them being bland and tasteless. Okay. Um, <laughs> so go figure. About taste? Possibly. Yeah, this is a solid chip. It's a good, salty snack. Um, I will say, compared to another to to a regular potato chip, you can kind of the texture. It's a little drier, but yeah, regular Pringles. These are solid. Sure. Good. Never deny a regular Pringle. All right, what do we got next? Uh, Trader Joe's brand Pringles knockoff. Oh, wow, these, these are, are a lot thicker. Yes. Oh, this is like four yeah. together. It just tastes worse. Yeah. Trader Joe's knockoffs are generally good. This is not as good as I will say, Pringles. like, if you're going to intend to use these to scoop things, these are these are pretty, they've got some dexterity to them. All right, let's go on from your side. Buffalo, Buffalo ranch. ranch. I've never had these. It tastes like ranch, and then right at the end, you're like, oh, there was also hot sauce there. Really? I'm getting a lot of buffalo. Really? I hardly anything else. Well, so now that I'm eating more of them, I, I don't know, I kind of like these. I could see myself mulling through a whole yeah. pan of these. I'm a big buffalo fan. Yeah. Anything I eat buffalo. Well, all right. Here's a... Going to Pizza Pringles. These are kind of a classic, right? Never liked Pizza Pringles, but uh, it's been a while since I've had one, so yeah, I don't like them. It's just like, it's almost like the pizza sauce, and that's pretty much it. It tastes like a bad pizza roll to me. I don't. I do not like these chips. Roast chicken. Rotisserie chicken. Oh, it tastes like you dipped a cracker into, like, chicken noodle soup. It tastes like tofurkey. Hmm? Fake bird meat. Bird That's meat. I'm looking. There is no yeah. chicken. Not a fan. I've never had tofurkey. So. Yeah, those were weird. Pass on those. Maybe it's All right, now we're getting back to normal stuff. Ranch. I will say ranch is... I've cooled off a little bit on it, but it used to be one of my favorite flavors of anything. Cooled off on ranch. Would you say you're cool ranch? <laughs> Get some help. Wow. That's a solid. Yeah, that's good. It's got that creamy ranch flavor. It's not overpowering. Honestly, I wish they put a little bit more on. It's pretty subtle. I wonder if you eat two at a time. Mm -hmm. It's almost like these are thinner than most of the other ones. You try a buffalo one with the ranch one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah dude. So that's this is one of Pringles, Pringles' selling points is, oh, stack your flavors together. Broken buffalo, chip. ranch, and a regular ranch. Now it's buffalo ranch. Yeah, I still pretty much only take the, taste the buffalo, <laughs> but but I, I can taste the ranch more on that one. So that's yeah. a good combination. Honey mustard. Something that I'm a fan of, but honey mustard can be done very wrong, so. Oh, let's see. It doesn't smell like anything. You're right. They're a little more you golden. Yeah, you can definitely see like the yellow stain. Yeah, there's yellow on the edge. Oh, wow. Mmm. Big flavor. More honey. Very honey, and then a little bit of mustard tang right at the end. It's almost like a breakfast chip. <laughs> I wish there was more mustard. If you like honey, <laughs> these are, might be good. Yeah, yeah if, you, sweet, if you're looking for, sure, for a sweet, sweet chip. Can of Pringles. That's bizarre. Cheddar cheese. These are pretty standard. This is another one of the classics, um, yeah. Wh whoever makes chips, like, they've perfected the whole powdered cheese. <laughs> you can definitely see the flavoring on these more than the other ones. These are thick chips. Well, that is an intense cheese flavor. It's almost like I'm squirting cheese whiz into my mouth. Like people do with whipped cream. Just taking a can of cheese whiz and... Don't do that. I, I don't advise doing that. Very one note. Let's get some texture in. Sweet and spicy barbecue. Pringles wavy. Hello. That sound never gets old. They look way more ridge on the uh, box. Hefty. Mmm. Whoa. It's a much thicker chip. Yeah. Just a little bit of heat on the back end. I like that. This is a good barbecue chip. Really, really thick. Like, I mean, one bite of this, it's like a full mouthful. Mmm. I don't think I could do two. <laughs> that barbecue is really nice and smoky. Being smoky sweet. is exactly the flavor. Smoky, sweet, and tangy. If you're a barbecue fan and you like something a little spicier, if you like barbecue skin, but I'm going a little bit more spice, these are actually really good. That's good, but don't go for two at once. That was a mouthful, and I have a big mouth, so. Applewood smoked cheddar. Oh, we bougie. Wow. Woo! This is a lot of flavor. Whoa. Oh my god. Feels like an explosion. These fall apart. They're kind of like made from like those puffs, like the Cheeto puffs. That's what it feels like. The cheese is good. I'm getting hit with something that's way too pungent. It's really salty, and that fake smoke flavor is yeah. not good. It tastes... It tastes like chemicals. Yeah. I feel like my whole entire... Like, I just go gulp of seawater. Now, I love salty things. That's too salty, and that smoke flavor is off. Too much. Ooh. Wow. Mr. Pringles, if you're watching, sir, get rid of the applewood and just use the cheddar, and I think that, that would be a great chip. And yeah. dial the salt back a touch. Memphis Barbecue. 
barbecue. And I don't think it says what makes Memphis barbecue different. So I can actually smell spice on that one. Mm, yeah, I can too. That's supposed to look like a drumstick, right? It's We're supposed gonna... to be ribs. Memphis is famous for ribs, for dry rub ribs. Are those supposed to look like the chips? I know they are the chips, but they, they're supposed to look it's like drumsticks. It's supposed to look like a rack of ribs. Okay. Because Memphis is famous for ribs. Please, uh, if you want to email us, therealkitchenchemist at gmail.com, or tweet us at kitchenchemyt, then please tell us Greg is wrong. Okay. This tastes like the pizza one. <laughs> it kind of does. <laughs> like, why? This is not what I was expecting at all. Yeah, give me one of those pizza ones. Yeah. Is Pringle cheating on us? These look virtually identical. Let me cleanse your palate. It's essentially the pizza one with more flavoring on it. Yeah, it's the pizza one, but a little saltier. Wow, that's weird. That doesn't taste like barbecue. Yeah. I hope the microphones are picking up the crunching noises. Because <laughs> I can hear them. <laughs> Not that great. Not great. I think I like them better, better than, than the, the pizza, pizza yeah. ones. It has the same flavor note, which is kind of tomato-y. But that one, the pizza ones leave a bad taste in my mouth. Parmesan roasted garlic. I'm excited. Yeah, these those. sound good. No, they don't really smell much right off the bat. Yeah, I, I'm surprised how the lack of odor that these chips have. Whoa. Whoa. Really garlic. So much garlic. Parmesan, where you at? Now, I'm a huge garlic fan. But if you're not a huge garlic fan, you won't like these. There's yeah, just like a little bit of a creaminess and nuttiness from the Parmesan that's right at the end. But that major note is just garlic in your face. And the thing is, roasted garlic has a more muted flavor. This is not a roasted garlic flavor. This, this is like just a... garlic. <laughs> this like is a... Mi yeah, this is a minced garlic I flavor. I like my best going to taste smell like garlic. If you don't like garlic or if you're a vampire, avoid these. Not terrible. I don't know yeah, if I can eat more I of those. I was disappointed. I was also expecting good things from it. Reuben! I have, I have no idea how this is going to taste in a chip. Now, how do you feel about Reuben the sandwich? I'm going to be really real with you. I don't think I've ever had a Reuben sandwich. Can we be, still be friends? I don't know. I gotta take you to a deli. If you don't know what a Reuben sandwich is, it's pastrami, corned corn beef on rye bread with typically Swiss cheese. What's that on the top? Sauerkraut and Thousand Island dressing, aka Russian dressing. That sounds amazing. It's honestly. a it's an amazing sandwich. It's it's top tier. If you're ever in New York, Boston area, go to a Jewish deli and the sandwich is this big, Mamma Mia. It's gonna pretty much just give me the exact taste of it. it. Smells like sauerkraut. Yeah. This is a limited time only, so if you can't find More these, sorry. Chip. Yeah, these are thin, thin to win. It just tastes like sauerkraut and nothing else. It tastes like rye bread with sauerkraut on it. I don't really like this. Uh, you're right, the rye bread's kind of coming through pretty strong now and I'm not that excited. I wasn't expecting them to be great, but I don't like those. I'm so disappointed that the two wackiest ones were terrible. We got a few wackiest Who could have foreseen that? That when you take a chip and, and do something silly with it, that's not gonna be great. Yeah, we got a few. We got a few creative ones up. Uh, now these, I know I like. Classic, go home. Crack a can open with your mom. And you finish the whole can in one go. <laughs> onion is one of the greatest flavors. Even if you're not an onion fan, I bet you like the onion flavor. Oh, I agree. You kind of need to eat a couple at a time, because they're really, really, really thin. But it's nice and creamy, and it's got good flavor from the onion, a little bit of tang. That is a solid chip. Definitely recommend that one. Extra hot. Extra hot chili and lime. It's about to get spicy up in here. Oh, man. Yeah, you can smell the lime, and you can see it's very bright red. That's gonna be a spicy boy. The powder color is kind of like the uh, flaming hot Cheetos. It's a lot sweeter than I was expecting. Ooh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should have saved this one for last. Yeah. <laughs> the lime is nice. I think that's, yeah, that's a good chip. I don't know how many of them I could eat because that is pretty spicy. Wow, yeah. It, it's, it's just because the powder, there's so much of it that it just coats your tongue and yeah. really kicks your butt. I'm okay with it though. Honestly, if you, you know, just wanted to eat a handful of these, I think you'd be good to go. You really like spicy things. These are great. Ooh. It's all right, we got a spicy one coming up next too. Hey, keep the, keep the pain train rolling, right? Fire roasted jalapenos. <laughs> the spice must flow. Oh, they're waves, too. Kind of smells like celery. It smells like celery. I don't know why my jalapeno chips smell like celery. Okay, you can't see anything on this. You could give these to somebody telling them that they're originals if you really want to, like, mess with somebody who doesn't like spicy food. Yeah. I'm assuming these are going to be spicy. Mmm. Wow. It's nice. It's weird. I'm not getting any jalapeno flavor from this. It tastes more like a bell pepper. Hardly any spice in this at all. Didn't they have like green pepper do you? I'm not getting any pepper. What any pepper taste. I don't do? know. I don't know what I'm tasting. It tastes like nothing? No, there's it tastes like something, but I'm 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 for the first time in my life I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> About food. About food. You gotta you gotta back me up here, man. I'm trying, man. I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm, I'm confused. It kind of just tastes like a potato chip to me. It, I don't think this tastes anything like a jalapeno. Now now you've convinced me that it's not, but I still think it tastes like a bell pepper. Maybe. Maybe I'm tasting that, that kind of bitter tang that I hate in bell peppers. I don't know, man. All right, this one I'm excited for because I, I love this flavor. Dill pickle. Um, I like any kind of pickles, honestly. That, that's a good dill pickle smell. Wow, that is really pickly. I'm, I'm excited. Solid. It's a chip that tastes like a dill pickle. Oh, yeah. sorry. 
It's screaming, Dill Pickle. I was about screaming. to say that it felt like something was screaming. Hang on, shh, 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 you listen? It literally just tastes like a chip that you dipped into pickle juice. I'm a fan. It tastes like a pickle. This one delivers on the chip promise of it is a potato chip yeah. that tastes like a dill pickle. It really does. And it's not it's not overpowering. No. Nope. All. all right. Last one. Salt and vinegar. Is a sea salt. Salt and vinegar. Today Another chip that I love. Vinegar. That's a con... Con... Con sabor. It's Spanish for with flavor. I was about to say cone saber. The cone saber. They're super light and like, I feel like they're gonna break in my hand. Good. I also could use a little yeah, bit more, more vinegar tang. So I think that's actually one of the themes for Pringles is, for a lot of these, other than the applewood smoked cheddar, there's not enough seasoning on there. I think the dill pickles nailed it, but I think everything else, even the ones we like, the ranch and the sour cream and onion, I think they need a little bit more seasoning on there. You're gonna have to shove like five of these in your mouth to get like a, a bit of flavor. That flavor should pop. Especially salt and vinegar. Mm. You kind of want it to be like mouth puckering. Yeah. This is very, very uh, mild yeah. salt and vinegar. It's just like um, not, not the greatest salt and vinegar to So let's talk about our favorites. Okay, so I think I really like the buffalo ranch. Yeah, I think that's going to probably be my favorite. I would also put forward the ranch and the dill pickle. I thought of the abnormal flavors, dill pickle was the best. I think as far as just like if I could take one of these home, it would be the buffalo. I'm just a fan of buffalo personally, yeah. but I also thought they did a really good job of making it creamy and not like overpowering it tastes yeah. like the right amount to put on a chip but yeah the other two were great as well i mean the buffalo ranch kind of just tastes like buffalo but it's a yeah. good buffalo it's a really nice tangy spicy but not overwhelming buffalo flavor the dill pickle is perfect yeah. it's like you're like grabbing pickles. it's you like, like you're grabbing a pickle and, and it's unusually dry and crunchy yeah excellent delivery on what it what it, what it asks the ranch is good, in my opinion, was just a little better than the sour cream and sour onion. Sour cream and onion. Which, I, I like the sour cream and onion as well, although, again, that batch seemed like it was under-seasoned. Yeah, yeah, that's the, that's the only thing I would say, is it just it had a little more flavor. As far as the worst the ones... The worst ones... Okay, so those were by far the worst, because that smoke chemical thing... It left my mouth so salty and, like, so dry yeah. from all the salt. So those like were this weird cartoon character on him. I don't know who that is. He he's from Overwatch. Okay. Well, there's this guy from Overwatch. Maybe he likes it. Junkrat. Um, Junkrat from Overwatch. Definitely my least favorite. Yeah, there absolutely my least favorite. There were other ones that I did like. Obviously, the spicy ones, they weren't bad. It was just a little too spicy. The so. Reuben and the rotisserie chicken were ones I was hoping would be, you know, like an interesting chip that was yeah. like, ooh, that's really interesting. And they just kind of meh. That one just kind of just tasted like rye bread and sauerkraut. And the rotisserie chicken, I swear, tastes just like tofurkey. This one wasn't yeah, the, the that was the best barbecue chip we had. This might make it into that top rank. I think the most disappointing one for me was the honey mustard. It was just honey. There was there was no mustard. There was no mustard. Yeah, it, it really just like by the like after your like second or third one, just zero mustard. It tastes Pringle. like you were dripping it, normal tink, it, normal Pringles. If it in advertised honey. just to be a honey dipped Pringle, maybe I would have been like, oh, that's interesting, but. It, the fact that I had mustard in there, yeah, I was disappointed. I, yeah. So that that was the most disappointing, and then also the Parmesan garlic, which I was expecting oh. to be fire. It was just... It was poorly balanced. Just wasn't bad. Garlic. Like was that. perfectly edible, but no Parmesan. No Parmesan. Where's the Parmesan to my garlic, Pringles? Mr. Pringle, where's the Parmesan to my garlic? Where's the mustard to my honey? Where's my mustard, Pringle? Give me my mustard. I paid for mustard. I want my mustard. Wow. That's a lot of Pringles. That's a lot of Pringles. So unlike the cereal episode, I think we have an idea of, you know, what if we could use some of these Pringles in recipes. So we're going to brainstorm and see if we can come up with how could I incorporate these Pringles into actual cooking. Got a few ideas, but if you want to send in ideas of how, how could I incorporate Pringles into my cooking, not on a normal basis, but just kind of as a challenge. For us to do, so you don't have to. So you don't have to. Shoot us a line, therealkitchenchemist at gmail.com, kitchenchemyt on Twitter, and kitchenchemistyt on Instagram. Until next time, take care. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna say I'm your boy, <laughs> Nathaniel Levinson. You're right, right, right. Until next time, I'm your boy, amateur pro home chef Nathaniel Levinson, and I'm the guy that films him. <laughs> I feel sick. Yeah. That I feel worse than I did after the cereal, which is surprising. Well, because I think we also ate more of these. They're easier to eat. It's kind of like oh, true. When you sit and you eat, I also I, I think I don't have enough water. Yeah. I need to just drink a ton of water. <laughs>